Sometimes I like to come down here to the river bottom when it's the evening light it's shining on the mountain over there. Shadows get long. Birds are chirping. And then I like to come and, and look at the stones. And every time I start looking, I'm, I'm always finding the same pattern emerging over and over again. <laughs> And I tend to look a lot at these smaller ones and the, the medium-sized ones, mainly because I don't have any space or, or the energy to take the, the big ones back, you know, as examples. But when I'm out here, a lot of times I just forget to even look at the really big ones because, uh, you know, just kind of blinded to them. But I saw this one here, and I thought, wow, that's a, that's a pretty cool and familiar shape and that one's a good two and a half feet long and it looks like a sulcus line over there and that one's not even I'm not even going to try and turn that one over and there's this one over here that one's buried And that one and a critic will say well this is just how rocks erode you know they bump around and they um, they just take on this shape and um, I'm sure that happens to some of them but these these rocks while they might be smoothed out a bit they're they're um, unbroken for the most part and as soon as there's any kind of a crack or a fracture in the rock or on the outside of the rock, you can immediately um, you can immediately see it. And there was this there's another rock I was going to show you. Where was it? It was over there. Yeah, got wrapped up in talking. I forgot the location of the one I was going to show you. There's another one. Hey, look at that, a sulcus line, and a curved underside, and another, another the double sulcus, which is on the back side. You can see that in the thumbnail of the um, video I posted the day before yesterday, or no, yesterday. Anyway, that's a, that's a beautiful one. There's just so many of them, and, um, and like this is broken off here. But if that was unbroken, that would look suspiciously like one of these heart stones, probably. And then the one I was going to show you has now vanished. Ah, oh, no, here it is. Didn't realize how far I'd walked. Let's see, let's see there. <laughs> and then my eyes immediately go to this one right there. So, this is possibly the interventricular sulcus. And then if we look at it from that side, the indentations at the top. So, that's pretty interesting. I'll, I'll try and... Oh! There's, there's another. <laughs> See, we're just not taught to to recognize these kinds of things in the stones and like I said I come out here all the time and uh, wow this thing's heavy yeah same same but different right bigger version and um, yeah, I come out all the time and I just kind of forget to look at the the big ones as I'm rolling around. And I also tend to get snowed in on the, the heart-shaped ones and because of all the research and, and all the looking into them I've done. Well, that one's pretty fleshy, isn't it? <laughs> and um, 
So I also kind of have to pull myself back and, and try and see with fresh eyes and just look at all of the different shapes to maybe recognize other patterns. Um, but it's interesting that the most distinct of the patterns... Oh, this is... <laughs> that looks like a kidney, doesn't it? Look at that. That's a big one. So this is what I... Like, my second to last video was... Uh, was about kidneys. That's a that's a pretty interesting example. And if I was more prepared, I might take that one back because that would be an interesting one to slice lengthwise, because then um, it might be possible to see the, the the renal medulla, which is this kind of um, it's almost shaped like wedges of an orange. Huh. Yeah, yeah. You can't take them all with you, right? There's another one. Look at all the color. If I dunk that in water and you can see here, something has come hard. I, I believe that something hard, like a rib, has come to rest up against the heart as it's undergone the petrification. Either that or it could be a chunk is missing, but it doesn't look like it's missing. Oops, sorry. It doesn't look like it's missing from here. So I, I, to me, this more look, looks more like an indentation uh, pressed, you know, while it's still soft, uh, on its way to being petrified. Yeah, this is why they call it boots on the ground. You gotta get out and test the hypothesis, right? And, uh, You'd be surprised what you might find if you if you really start digging into things. Yeah, it's a truly beautiful evening right now. Yesterday was the first kind of hint of winter on the way. Lots of birds flying in uh, warmer directions. <laughs> anyway. Take care, everybody. Bye.